Hey guys, welcome to Flight Test Tech. I'm Eddie. I handle all the tech support issues for Flight Test. And today I'm going to walk you through binding Spectrum and Radio Master receivers with your Zorro 4 in 1. Hey guys, we're going to walk through setting up a model on your Zorro 4 in 1 transmitter. The first thing you want to do once, you're, once you have everything turned on is you're going to press your model button, the MDL button here. This is going to give you your model select. If you want to set up a new model, just go to a blank screen with your scroll wheel and then press the button. It's going to ask you if you want to create a model. You're going to press the roller wheel. Now it is, you have created the model, it just gives it the default name. You're going to press the page up button. This is going to give you your options to add the name. You can turn on timers. As you scroll down through this menu, this is how you set up for your binding process. And you're going to continue to scroll down, or you can scroll up either way, until you get to internal RF. You press the rolly ball, a rolly wheel. You're going to change this to multi. And then depending on the type of receiver you have, whether it be FR Sky, Fly Sky, Spectrum, as the multi protocol, you have several options. You will choose your option with the scroll wheel. Once you get the option you want, you'll press the scroll wheel, you'll go down to your subtype, and then you'll scroll through to pick whatever receiver that you have, and then go down and choose your bind option. This process will be the same regardless of what receiver that you use. The only thing that you need to make sure you focus on is that when you select internal RF that you're choosing the correct mode as multi type as whatever receiver you're using, whether it's FR Sky, D8, D16, Spectrum, make sure that you have the type set correctly and your subtype. After that, all you do is go down and select your bind option. Today I'm going to walk you through binding the Zorro 4 in 1 with the Radio Master R88 V2 receiver. So, guys, once you're into the menu and you've gone down, you've selected multi, FR Sky D, and then D8. You're going to go down and you're going to scroll down until you get to the bind option. Once you're here, go to your, set your transmitter down. You're going to want to press the bind button on the receiver. And you're going to, while holding that, you're going to plug it in. You'll see the LED start to flash. This has a three different types of flashes. You're going to have three single flashes, three double flashes, and three triple flashes. Single flash is D8, double flash is D16, and triple flash is actually Futaba. While you're uh, watching the sequences, you're gonna watch for the sequence that you want. Right now we're on D8, so we're looking for the single flash. All right, we get triple flash. Now we're on our single, we're gonna press the bind button. You're gonna see this, the light start to flash fast. That lets you know that everything has bound. And it, everything will reboot. You're gonna unplug your battery. Lost. We're gonna power down the transmitter. Power back up the transmitter. So now that you've powered everything back up, you can test this by pressing your throttle. You'll notice that everything is working. If you've got your servos hooked up, you can, can you can start testing your throws to make sure everything's the way you need it. When we go in to bind the Radio Master D16 receivers, you're gonna go into your internal RF, you're gonna set for multi, you're gonna set FR Sky X and your subtype as D16. And then you same process, you're going to go down to the bind button. Once you have your receiver in bind mode, which we'll do right now. We're going to watch for the double flash.
and we're gonna press the bind, mode and bind button and we're gonna choose one through eight. You're gonna see the quick flash then it's gonna go back to a slow flash. That means that everything is bound. It's gonna boot. We're gonna power cycle. Power back up the transmitter. Welcome to HTX. RF signal critical. It's gonna tell you that you haven't set a fail safe on the beginning, that's fine. Press any key, we can go through and set the fail safe afterwards. Now we're gonna test the throttle. And now we see we've got throttle. You can check your servos if you've got those connected and then you're good to go. Next, we're gonna walk you through binding a spectrum receiver with your Zorro 4-in-1. Once we get through the menu, we've got our internal RF set to multi, the type is DSM, and our subtype as X2F, which is the latest spectrum frequency. Scroll down to your bind option. Now press the bind button on the receiver Plug up your battery. You will see a fast flashing light on the receiver. We press the bind button. Now you're gonna start seeing a slow flash and then a solid light on your receiver. Now, we're, now you know everything's bound. Everything reboots. We're gonna power cycle. We're now going to turn the transmitter back on. Welcome to HTX. Next, we're gonna plug everything back up. You got a satellite on your receiver. You can test it with the throttle. Everything's working. Now you can test all your uh, servos for your control surfaces and make sure that all those are working. And if you need to reverse anything, this is the time to do it. That walks you through the process of binding with Spectrum and Radio Master receivers on your Zorro 4 and one If you have any other suggestions or questions, please reach out to us through our Contact Us option on the store. We're gonna be diving deeper into these radios, so anything you need, please let us know.